Ladies and gentlemen, right now in the background, there's a lot of noise. My wife is actually on a Zoom call and uh, my son is tapping around the floor right above me and I am in an untreated room. Yes, this room is basically untreated. It is walls, there's only sound dampening is on the door um, in the form of shades and then directly behind me, which I would actually have to close those curtains, but nothing else is treated. I have a wood desk. Um, I have a flat screen that's sitting right in front of me over here. There is a flat screen up here. If anything's dampening anything, maybe it'll be the soft boxes, but the sound is literally going to be able to bounce around this room. The floor is pretty much right next to the concrete, and um, I need to kill the noise. Also, another thing is I end up working with people that I do have a business and working with people. Um, they're usually, you know, sitting in the chair next to me right here. And uh, while we're sitting in the chair, what ends up happening is there's a microphone right above me and uh, there's a lot of space. And so the noise can be a problem. And so if you notice right over here, I actually have two faders and the sound is moving on both. Now, um, right now I'm using a shotgun mic that's over me. I am actually not using this mic right here. And so if I were to switch to that microphone, you notice that the sound went down tremendously. And that is because I'm using C-Suite and C-Suite is a part of this situation. Now, here's the crazy thing. That's on this microphone here, and this is a dynamic mic. It's this SM7B, of which for most of my broadcasts, I'm talking close into the mic, and so therefore, it doesn't give much room for everything around me uh, to leak into the mic as I'm doing broadcast. So it doesn't matter if it's during the day, the birds are chirping, dogs barking outside, the uh, FedEx and UPS guy is running and, you know, making noise and the trash truck is going down the street. Not a problem. But um, there are those moments where people are doing, you know, real uh, intimate stuff and you don't have a sound treated room and you're kind of crap out of luck. Well, if you happen to have um a uh a audio device a digital audio device that you can get plugins i would advise you to check out c suite okay because in checking out c suite you actually can kill the noise so i'm going to take and go back to this overhead mic now with this overhead mic you kind of notice you hear a lot of room that's because i have it on bypass i am going to now take this off of bypass so that you can hear what it sounds like Notice it got real quiet and I'm talking now. You can hear me, but it has deadened all of the noise around me. And guess what? My wife is still on Zoom and she is talking. She's laughing. The There's no trash truck outside right now because it is dark outside behind me. Um, people are running around upstairs and the heater is on, but and the room is not treated. However, I am on a shotgun mic, which the shotgun mic is actually a distance away from my mouth. It is pointed down at my chest, but it is right over top of here. And this C-suite is working. If you notice in the orange, the orange is going to show you the sound that is taken out. So as you see that moving, that's the sound that's taken out. The blue is the sound that it's letting pass. So if I were to just take this microphone right here and um, you know pretty much tap on it, I'm tapping on it and it's not actually coming through the mic. What I'm gonna do is I am going to put this on bypass. You can hear the noise. And as I'm tapping, you can hear the tap going on. Now, if I take and I hit the bypass again, it's basically deadened even a tapping right here in front of me that's pointed and it's coming in between my chest and the microphone itself, but I'm tapping and for the most part, as I'm tapping, you hear more of me talking and less of the tapping. Okay, I just tapped it off too much. Okay, tighten that back up. But that is the power of what you can do with the C-suite. And so I am, 
oh, sorry, just dropped that. But that is the power which you can do with C-Suite and C-Suite will actually kill the noise for the most part. Uh, if you have a lot of noise around you, if you have a fan blowing, you have heater going. And if you notice at the distance that I'm at, I am actually um, just over 12 inches away from my mouth with the mic right here um it is out of frame so you you can kind of you know get a glimpse of the distance that it is and you don't actually have to worry about you know the 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 noise in the room and how much space that you have there's a couple other settings on this that's awesome and that is it is on noise right now but we can also change this to room and so this is going to let a little bit more noise in but it's going to be able to help you to change the way the room actually sounds in a digital way. And so now there's a little bit of hiss in here. If you heard in the headphones, you'll hear the hiss, but you'll also notice that um, the room it is opened up a little bit more. The sound is not as tight as it was, but it's still killing noise that's happening outside of this room that would normally bleed into it. And a lot of people, you need this for your recordings, your podcast, but unfortunately you just don't have that money to treat your room or the time or you're renting and you don't have the space for the investment and you don't want to rent a studio, but this is an alternative that you can use outside of a gate. A gate is only just going to, you know, duck it when nothing's happening, but this is still going to fight the sounds underneath it even while you are live and while you're using it. And again, this is a shotgun mic that I'm doing it with. And I also use it on the dynamic mics, but that is the simple way about killing the noise. And that is when I'm using the C-Suite. And so C-Suite is actually a awesome program to use to keep the noise down, um, especially when you have the distance of a shotgun mic such as this. And then also, um, when even you're using a dynamic mic, it helps you fight the noise and or if you do have a quiet environment, it does help you to control the room in a way uh, that you normally couldn't do. And so now this is more so controlling the room. If I were to take the ambience, I can make it smaller, you know, uh, open the room up a little bit more or I can keep it closed and keep it tight. I like to keep this around 90, 10 for live. Um, in studio environments and when engineers are using this on some tracks that they're doing, it's a different process. But, you know, as a songwriter, producer, you know, engineer, having worked in the industry, a lot of the stuff that I use in the industry, I'm using it for lives. And this actually works good for lives to even get a tighter sound on a shotgun mic that is still like over a foot away from you that's able to still almost suck up most of the room for people that don't want the mic in the shot. Now for me, um, let me get you over here. I'm just gonna keep it 100%. I'm about keeping the mic in the shot. And so let me go back to this microphone right here. And this is the sound I'm always looking for. But when you can't do that, um, and even if you can do that, C-Suite is actually something that's gonna help you to control your sound and to keep things a lot tighter for your broadcast, even with noisy people, air conditioners and heaters and fans and people going in and out the door in your way. All right. That's it from the no pro. I'll talk to you later.